What is going on everyone, this is Nier and here for you in episode of my Pride this time on the map Fallen. Yeah, Fallen. Using the AK-47, I got a silencer on, I got a scavenger on, I got a hardline, I got a sit rep, and I got claymores. I'm going to mute the entire lobby because I hate listening to people talk. <laughs> you guys ever done that? How many of you actually play free for all? Uh, one of the reasons uh, you never see much free for all gameplay is for me is because uh, not a lot of people actually like to watch free for all, and by comparison, I'm kind of assuming that a lot of people don't actually like to play free for all either. And uh, when you play free for all, man, you always go up against like 30 year old guys that say you're cheating. And it's always like a southern guy, too. It's always a guy with like a southern accent, a real deep voice. Man, this motherfucker's cheating. Or, man, this guy's hacking. Or, man, I shot that guy. You know, that, that kind of that kind of accent, that kind of, that's, just basically picture that, that is what I picture. And that's why I hear when I actually would play free for all and uh, yes, I still, I play some free for all in like Black Ops or, you know, Mall for 2. It's kind of, it's the same thing. It's just the same, uh, stereotypical player plays free for all. And there's also like the, you know, the sniper. The sniper goes into free for all a lot, like, I'm good at sniping, let's go free for all. And, you know, they play free for all the sniper. So those are two stereotypical guys. I mean, the third one would be the guy with no mic that just gets dominated. And, uh, you, my lobby is basically filled with those people. You know, the liar, the three, the kind of person that just kind of, the kind of guinea pig. You know, every time you kill me, I have to come back for you. So, throughout the majority of this gameplay, I'm playing free for all, and I am going to be hiding up in this area right here. This little building, this is where I'm going to be. Whole gameplay, because you know why? That's how you play free for all. Uh, people, there's always arguing, there's kind of debates back and forth, and it, 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 it escalated from Team Deathmatch, and then it just kind of comes into this. People say, well, you need to run and gun, camping's for noobs, and I, I completely agree, but in free-for-all, that's how you play free-for-all. If you run and gun in free-for-all, you're gonna get shit on like no other. And then I get comments, because of course, you know, the people in the comment section, guys, you guys don't understand. Some of the people in the comment section, they are God's gift to the world. They are God's gift to Call of Duty. Whatever I say can't happen, or whatever I say doesn't happen often, they're always the person that does it. You know, I say, you know, it's not smart to run around in a free-for-all. You're going to get demolished. Then I'm like, I run and gun in a free-for-all with a PM9 and go 30 and 0 every time, or... You know, <laughs> just those kind of people. You know what I'm talking about. I get feel, I, I get those comments all the time. You guys don't understand. Half the, half my job, YouTube. Half it's making videos. The other half, listening to people like that. But uh, there is there's there's a fine line though. There are so many good people that are subscribed to me, and I'm thankful for that because my you know my uh, my subscriber base, my comment section is not filled with those people. Every now and again, we have that kind of person. Get knife, son. I have uh, that kind of person that just uh, I just hate those kind of people, man. I just. Arrogance, that's what it is, it's arrogance. So when you're playing free for all, if you guys are actually here to kind of learn about free for all, you're actually here to you know listen to the gameplay and commentary. So what we're gonna be doing if you have free for all, when you're playing on Fallen, this is a major spot on the map, and that's what you can what I kind of want to do when you're playing free for all. You find choke points, or people call them choke points or hot spots of the map, key areas if you will. And then you take over that area, and you basically let them come to you. Like I said, if you run a gun free for all, the spawn system's gonna screw you. You know, you're not gonna be able to find people sometimes because people generally lean towards these hot spots, these key areas of the map, is where people they as soon as they spawn, they run to that area. And that's where you can see me do out throughout this gameplay. I'm taking over this area, and there's a guy upstairs. I'm being very cautious about it. Um, so this is this is after the patch of Sitrep Pro, or well, before the patch of Sitrep Pro, and basically allowing Sitrep Pro to counter dead silence. So you can hear everything. If you have Sitrep Pro on, you can hear everything. Even though if you see there in my uh, strike package, my little specialist chain, you see that I have dead silence. But I was worried. The reason I was crouch walking was the fact that I was worried that the person upstairs was also going to have Sitrep Pro and would be able to hear my dead silence in comparison with that. So that was basically my whole my whole spiel about why I was like crouch walking around the entire building. But like I said, you, you want you kind of want to take over a portion of the map. You want to take over an area. And for me, in this instance, I'm taking over roughly a third of the map. I mean, given Fallen's a big map, but I'm taking where I shot that guy. I'm taking over down there. I'm taking over the building right to my left. I'm also taking over the little area right by the A flag and domination, which would be to the left of the building. I mean, I'm taking over a pretty I'm pretty taking over a pretty large chunk of area here. Pretty large chunk. And uh, throughout the gameplay, you're going to be seeing me go back and forth and you know, just kind of taking people out in this area. And then we're going to be dropping them out. And I love the specialist the fact that kid is a Kimbo. <laughs> I walk upstairs. I find a portable radar. There's a Kimbo FMG9 trying, shooting at me. And there's an ACR on the ground. That, ladies and gentlemen, isn't in a nutshell, is Modern Warfare 3. And believe it or not, I have Modern Warfare 3 again. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. If you guys, if you guys follow me on Twitter, I put up a, I put up a picture in the caption. The picture was dun dun dun, like you know your stereotypical, you know, cartoon dun dun dun, like that kind of thing, and uh, <laughs> and um, okay. So, so to explain the story, you know, I, obviously I broke one for three disc. Uh, every one for three video you've seen from me of late is basically just gameplays that have been saved up on my computer. I'm like, no, I don't want to play this game anymore. I hate it. 
Well, my cousin, um, SP Swami, actually, you guys may have seen him in like on my friends list or seen him pop online. He's very rarely in any of the videos. He doesn't play too often, which is kind of what, what kind of led up to this. Uh, he was having a yard sale and he was selling Marvel 3 for $30. Now, when I broke my disc and I was like, kind of like, oh man, now now what do I do? You know, I was wondering what would go on with the Marvel 3, you know, Marvel 3 on my channel. What would happen with that? And a lot of people said they won Mo Monday and Mo Friday to continue in, but I don't want to play this game and I don't want to get Mo apps. I don't want to play the game. I don't want to go through the effort and the frustration and check out the spawn killing of this poor lad right here. I don't want to check out, go through the frustrations of actually getting the Mo apps. I don't even want to play the game. But a lot of people like, like every time a new map comes out, like DLC comes out, people like it when I make a video and I walk through the map and kind of show you some cool stuff about the map and stuff. You know, things like that. People enjoy that. And uh, I was going to use my brother's disc for that. But randomly, this is like the most awkward of all like all scenarios. Like I break my disc, my brother's disc got scratched like the same day. Like there's a scratch, like it, it, was, it was a scratch from his Xbox. Like I don't know if like something dropped in his room and it kind of like made his Xbox jiggle, but it scratched uh, the inside portion of his disc. And so his Mod for 3 disc actually works for like 30 seconds on average and then it will just shut itself off. And so that was unusable. And if I were to, you know, make videos of these DLC maps, things like that, record stuff out of the theater that I have saved, because I have some, I have some gameplay saved in theater about what that I wasn't able to record before I snapped my disc. Um, I would need to get a new disc. I need to get a new model for three. And, I didn't, and it, from from an economical standpoint, it's just smarter for me to buy the game for my cousin for thirty dollars rather than go out and rent the game. You know, every time a new DLC comes out or every time something or other happens. You know, it, it just makes more sense just to buy it for thirty dollars. That's a that's that's a good deal considering a used copy of Mall for Three is like what forty or fifty bucks at GameStop, and they give you ten bucks for it if you're trying to trade it in. <laughs> My cousin, he was gonna do that. So he was gonna do it. He's gonna take it to GameStop, and but because he doesn't, he hates the game too. He didn't want to play it either. Um, but they were only offering like ten bucks for it, and he's like, that's a rip off. I, I get more money off it of, like off of eBay than that. So he decided, hey, sell it to me, and now I have the disc. Um, do I plan on playing Mall for Three? No. I don't really enjoy the game, man. Um, I was looking though. I was looking though. I was kind of clicking through my old videos back when Mafia 3 was somewhat fun to me. And some of my mo there's a Moab right there. Um, some of the most fun videos I think I had were live commentaries, which I never do. I never do live commentaries anymore. And check this poor sap out. Look at you trying to revenge kill me. What do you think this is? Uh, some of the most fun I've had is uh, doing live commentaries. So maybe in like a month or two, maybe. We do like a mom for three live session. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, emphasize that. Maybe. I don't know. I'm right now guys, I'm honestly having too much fun playing Black Ops, I'm having too much fun playing Mom for Two, I'm having too much fun playing COD Four, and I'm having too much fun playing with all you on you know open lobbies off of Twitter. So if you guys want to play open lobbies, come play with Black Ops, come play Mom for Two with me on the Xbox three sixty. Link in the description, follow me on Twitter, final score thirty no, nice flawless free for all. Hope you guys all enjoyed that. But uh like I said, maybe, you know, maybe a Black Ops or a Mall for 3 live set.